Hey guys, are you ready to see boot camp for the third time on this channel? I'm sure you are. Anyway, so yeah, I said I was going to be doing Opposing Force. And if you know anything about the deathmatch mode in Opposing Force, you'll know that by default, three of the maps from Half-Life, uh, Boot Camp, Data Core, and Gasworks, uh, came with the game. So I'm just going to get those out of the way real quick, and then we'll get on to the actual original All-Star deathmatch maps, they're called. Um, and if anyone's wondering about, like, my choice of games or anything like that, if I'm going to be doing any more Gold Source games or anything like that, probably not. To me, half the Half-Life, like, one series is, which is a weird thing to say, is Half-Life, obviously, Team Fortress Classic and Half-Life Opposing Force. It's like a little trilogy of three games that kind of, very similar aesthetic, Kind of similar gameplay, obviously less so with Team Fortress Classic, but I feel the ethos of Half-Life Half is still kind of there. And I always just kind of associate them. Stuff like Counter-Strike, Day of Defeat, and like Ricochet all have their own original thing. And Deathmatch Classic doesn't count to me because Deathmatch Classic is just Quake, and let's be honest, you might as well just play Quake 1 nowadays. Because, you know, that's open source and everything. Um, so yeah, though, and Blue Shift, uh, doesn't have a multiplayer component, but you could c consider it kind of that same thing, but you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, uh, Boot Camp here, um, is always fun, regardless of what game you played in, uh, frankly. Um, I feel it's actually at its best here in Opposing Force, and we'll go over why. So, 100%, this map is exactly the same in terms of geometry as it is in Half-Life. What's changed, of course, is they've obviously gone and added in stuff... From Half-Life Opposing Force. So I'm just going to repeat myself a bit and like go over the whole map because I can't quite tell you exactly off the top of my head everything that's changed. So if you start here, grab that SMG. Always a good idea. You'll notice if uh, you've never played uh, Opposing Force Deathmatch, uh, you start with 50 bullets already in your current magazine. Instead of the 25 and having to reload in Half-Life, which is how it should be, frankly. Grab some ammo there. We'll go back this way and we'll check out over here. Um, if you go this way, obviously shotgun's still there. Always a fun time guaranteed for all. It's a little hard to see here, but you can grab some nice items there too. Again, we'll go, we'll check out the front of the building first. Or after. Well, maybe this is the front of the building. I have no idea. Anyway, let's go up here. So if you come over to this side real quick, you're going to find a health kit, or a health charger, whatever you want to call it, really good. And now we're going to start seeing some of the differences. So, because now you have the, whatever this is supposed to be, Desert Eagle Magnum, I actually don't know what this gun's called anymore. Oh uh, yeah, but see, that would have replaced either, a lot of times, like, certain, like, you know, like the three, uh, the Magnum, or the revolvers replaced by the Magnum, or the crossbows replaced by, like, the, uh, sniper rifle, stuff like that. Sometimes stuff stays, but, you know, sometimes, like, even, like, you know, non-game like game equivalents, like, you know, they'll switch around items even if they're not equivalents. So, just, like, you know, it's always a little interesting. You got the rocket launcher down there. And here you go. You got some way, way nice stuff here now. You got the shock trooper, or the shock... I actually don't know what the... I, I don't know any of the names for anything in Opposing Force. I haven't played it nearly as much as Half-Life. But not only do you got an SMG down there, but you can see you got this bad boy... You got the MP the MP40, I'm, I think. Man, no, I don't. I don't know. I don't know the names. Damn it! So let's just pretend it's the machine gun. It is, in fact, the machine gun. That's what you got. You got some more rocket launcher ammo there too. All right, so there you go. That's what's up here. Nice bunch of goodies. Come back down this way, and you still got your grenades. Always helpful. And you still got your gauze. Um, I don't know if it's just me. I could entirely just be me. But I feel gauze jumping in opposing force is slightly nerfed. Like, you just don't go as high unless you build up longer. I, I'm probably just crazy, but it's always felt that way. So, if, But if anyone like who's played this game a lot wants to confirm, please tell me. Grab the SMG there if you want. Get some claymores. These tunnels are still helpful for getting around the map real quick. You got some nice MP uh, machine gun ammo. And then you got these bad boys for the spore launcher. Um, keep that in mind, because I think this entirely replaced something else. See what I mean? Sometimes it's a little bit... The, the, it's not just switching to equivalent, like, opposing force equivalents for the weapon. Sometimes it's something entirely different. Grab some ammo, and here comes, I think, the only change of the map itself. You can climb this in this version. 
And there's actually something up here. You got the BFG or the Displacer, which is a BFG equivalent if you've never played that. So that's cool. I like that. Um, so yeah, here we go. Let's start talking about some of the buildings here. So from here, coming to this one, get some health. That's always good. Get some health charger. Health is the good healthiness. Oh, that joke sucked. I'm going to kill myself. Get an SMG. There's all, there is still a lot of SMGs in this map compared to the original version. That is always going to be the same with these, like this map. This is SMG the map, except not quite, but sort of really. I don't know. And again, if you want to get around the map pretty easily, or a little like more like covertly, use the side of the buildings here, which a lot of these buildings have. Always good stuff. Come up here and get some crossbow ammo, but no crossbow, which is a little bit goofy. You can jump over to this building from here. And I'm just going to gauze over to this one real quick because there's some good stuff to talk about on this building. And I always press the wrong button. Yeah. Get that stuff, get the shotgun. I don't know if there, I don't believe there's a shotgun and like any sort of weapon on this uh, little plateau or whatever you want to call it there initially. So yeah. And you're going to notice a spore up there. I didn't really bring up. Well, there's a reason for that. We'll get to it. Um... So let's go this way real quick. We'll go into this nice little building, get some machine gun ammo. Yet another SMG. And if you come out this side, get some nice um, sniper ammo. And this little compartment is still here from the uh, original version with the snarks. Always good time. And there's always this little area here. This area is even better now though, because again, you got the uh, you got the machine gun. So that's good. Not much in this building here still. I just want to check. Yeah, that was just the side there. I don't think there was really anything else to talk about up there. I'll just double check real quick. Also, you might notice it's uh, nothing to do with the map of the self, but you'll notice some of the, the bots, their legs don't move. I don't know what it is about opposing force. Yeah, right there. But some of the player models I took from Half-Life, they just don't know how to move the legs when they're walking. Like, literally every other animation works. And then some do. Some do, like the civilian. Literally every other animation works, but the legs don't, so I don't know if Gearbox changed the, like, animation routines for the legs or something when they brought, like, you know, made this mod or expansion. It's just weird. I figured I'd bring it up now before someone comments on that. You can get into this building from here, but, you know, we've already checked that out. Let's check that out in a little bit over there. I want to talk about this building now. The one with the car. Because there's something interesting about this one. Is that this was just a little nook sitting here in the original version, but they decided to add in... See, look at that. Look how low that was. That should have been way more. They added in the uh, long jump here, so that's cool. And here is the shotgun. Everyone's favorite weapon. Firing this thing makes you feel like God, as you can see. Um, and I, I don't know when I picked up the wrench, but I did. I don't... There's still nothing in these uh, crates, by the way. I'm just gonna break them the, like the old-fashioned way. So as you see there, uh, there's still something in here, I believe. Just uh, claymores this time, or sorry, yeah. Satchel charges. I think there was the crossbow in there normally, but they brought it out front of the vehicle. Which, to be completely fair, makes a little bit more sense, all things considered. Um, get your charger, still here. And you can use this tunnel to get back out there, as I brought up earlier. Still filled with very nice presence. Because, you know, that's always a good thing. And this is how you get to that one little tunnel over here that I brought up earlier. No! I went the wrong way. Never mind. I'm an idiot. So if you went this way instead... Yeah, no. Never mind. Where does that one tunnel go? No, the tun the other tunnel I was thinking of earlier connects to the uh, center. Never mind. I always forget that. So anyway, where do I want to... Well, we'll continue over here. I've, like, I was mostly talking about this area. So if you come back this way, you can get into this building, which we've already talked about. Here's the center building again. Still very yellow. It's got that unique... I, I don't know why this particular building's yellow, but the rest are like blue inside. I mean, I think there's another building that's yellow, but still it's weird. Get that shotgun. Always fun time guaranteed for all. And you can get some shotgun ammo on your way out. After be delivering the pizza. Now if you go up here... You can get on the roof. We get that gauze over there. Still nothing on this little thing here. I don't even know why it exists. Always bugged me. In fact, why is the floor open like this? It doesn't look like cut open or anything. It looks like it's just, just literally like that. Someone's going to fall down and break their leg. Unreal. Crossbow's still here, so that's nice. Obviously, sniping is good, but if you have the... If you have this bad boy, I recommend... I mean, this still does a lot of damage. Um, 
like when you're in sniper mode, it's still basically a one hit kill. But this doesn't have the explosive bullet effect that the um, like when you fire the crossbow. If you've never played this, it still does this, which isn't as helpful in the, on the long run of things. Even like if it's like you know, like if your area you're fighting shooting into is a little crowded, it could do some damage. Sniper doesn't have that. It just remains just as strong as it's basically just a one-hit kill again. It's kind of similar to the uh, revolver, in all honesty. Except I think even a little bit sort of like stronger and with a really good zoom. So yeah, I guess it's just up to personal preference. But then again, doesn't in multiplayer mode the three the Magnum have the scope on it? So I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Disregard everything. So if you come onto these buildings, you can get some satchels. You can get the rocket launcher still, and the shock guy bug dude again um get some grenades in this little one here take advantage of the windows obviously you know you throw down some of those clay the, those clay satchels there if you see a bunch of people not paying attention nice easy cheap kill and you can get out into there and i do believe the long jump is still actually here so there's actually two long jumps in this map now actually there might be three because i think there's one over in the one end of the map but i haven't seen it yet and there's just a little another little addition. Yeah, there it is. They added. They, they basically whoever I don't know who did the uh, conversion job from this in the uh, vanilla Half Life get the SMG into Gearbox, but uh, they basically just took advantage of a lot of empty space that was just kind of there originally, which I approve of. If you take the tunnels here, that's how you can get back into that one area there I showed earlier. So keep that in mind. Don't ever discount the tunnels. I feel a lot of people do, and they're just not paying attention. Move out of the way. I don't know why I'm so dead bloodthirsty with this. Um, I'm no expert, but I believe the reload animation on this thing is all wrong. But I don't don't quote me on that. So yeah, here's the inside. Of that, that that's that one building again. We'll go into this one now. This one's the Claymore building and the uh, Spore building. I don't know where the hell the Spore is anymore on this map. But yeah, they get a lot of these Spore. I, the, the Spores are very generous on this map, except these ones don't make any noise. Which always bugged me. I don't know why. I mean, I, I never played um, Half uh, Opposing Fourth Deathmatch nearly as much as Vanilla Deathmatch. Just because no, like there wasn't as many people playing it. Which makes sense. Half-Life, like, what, sold over 10 million? This sold, like, maybe 2 million in box copies? And, like, you know, it's just ne never been as popular. So, you know, that's just to be expected. Oh, uh, yeah, get the revolver up here, though. Always a good time. If you uh, jump across here, you can get the knife, which I've never been particularly fond of. I've always been much more of the, um, what's the word? The wrench, uh, wrench guy. Because this thing is a beast when you charge it up. Which I'll demonstrate if you've never played this. Get back here. Well, that was a failure. I find it amusing that the uh, old model, TF Team Fortress Classic models, legs move fine, but the new ones don't. Yeah, as you can see, that's a good time if you get hit by that. Keep that in mind. Alright, so let's go back that way. That's how you get from this little stairway up to here, if you didn't know that. So let's uh, check out the tunnels over here. Because I believe these are the ones I was referring to earlier, except maybe not. In fact, I really don't know. I don't even know what tunnels I'm thinking of anymore. We'll get to this area in a bit. I am probably just got myself really confused. As you can see, the absurdity of ha opposing force as well is just how many weapons you can carry all at once. Like in single player, a lot of the weapons, like, you know, the crossbow and the, th the magnum, don't, the, the revolver don't show up. But still in like like deathmatch here, it's just absurd. You can get a health charger there, and as you'll see, the um, the gauze was replaced by the barnacle, which you know the barnacle's fun if you've never used that. But you're like, well, what what's the real application of it? Well, you'll see these things, right? If you've never played this, you can latch onto them. So basically, why that like a couple of these things are just kind of sitting there randomly, as you see. Is that the um, map designer's way of saying they want you to use that to fling yourself around? So that's really neat. I like that they thought that. Though, frankly, I would have just put in, like, the groans, Like, you know, the little zen groans that are in the proper opposing force maps. But maybe it was just they, they were on a little bit of a, like, you know, time squeeze. Didn't want to convert, like, you know, like, you know, add too much geometry to the map. But yeah, get the sniper there. And you can crawl around this building, like I said, to lay traps and get in there and do a whole bunch of other stuff. Basically, a lot of this, like, my crappy strategy I recommended in the original, I mean, Half-Life version of this map applies here, too. And, like, I'm even less organized with the, um... 
I'm even less organized with this version, though, because, I, again, I haven't played it nearly as much. The gauze has also been replaced with the displacer here. I have tend to notice that a lot of the uh, uh, opposing 4th deathmatch maps really don't seem to like um, the gauze, which is a shame, but oh well. I mean, the displacer is just better. Like, let's just be completely frank. The thing is way, way stronger in terms of, like, room clearing ability. But here you go. You got the spore launcher if you want that. Move out of the way, civilian. If you've never seen how that works, I just gave you a little bit of a demonstration. And here's this area a little here I brought up earlier. Get through from there. Nice little shortcut. Um, surprisingly few spores here, though, to latch onto. So that's a little goofy. So we'll go up into this little area now. I didn't branch in this little water area. There's that one building I brought up. Come down here to get some uh, uh, SMG grenades. Always fun time guaranteed. And here's another tunnel which we led into earlier. I'll just show it off again real quick if you want to see. And I don't think anything's changed in the little water things here. I do believe this has stayed exactly the same. Uh, yeah. So yeah, get some nice ammo, nice heading spot, but be careful if you're going to do that. Especially if someone decides to come in with the uh, shock trooper. Ignore the... The night vision he decides to come in with this and shock the water. That's an insta-kill because it's basically the lightning gun from um, Quake then in that case. Now, I didn't bring this up earlier, but this little side area still exists. Uh, yet more SMG. If you're surprised, I'm be bloody blown away. And uh, yeah, now we're going to go up this way. And you can gauze up here to get some uh, snarks. Always a good time. And a rocket launcher. But we didn't talk about this building yet, so I'll get to that in a second. Uh, I think there's still an invisible wall on this one. Yeah, that pisses me off because, you know, they... Why why even put that there? Just make the building go all the way up to the skybox. I wouldn't try to do that. I'm going to waste ammo trying that every time because it looks like I can get up there. Why would I assume otherwise? It's a minor nitpick, but still. And that's obviously not exclusive to this version. Get, an S get a shotgun, always good time. And now into the final buildings. I don't believe I've talked about this one yet. There's this little back area with, you guessed it, another SMG. Which leads into this building here. Which I don't think I've... T I always forget about this building a little bit. Because it's the same one. That's why. This building right here. Just, I never remember. I, I don't know why. But yeah, get the get the machine gun if you haven't grabbed it. And if you come up here, get you everyone's favorite SMG. I'm sure you've never seen one of those before. Again, like I've always said, take advantage of the side of the buildings to get around a little bit more covertly. Uh, more so if it's like a small match, it, like, I know there's only a few people. And, uh, yeah, basically that's it. There's still a lot to dissect here, but I really do feel it is just more of a, more interesting in, uh, Opposing Force here than it is in Half-Life. And, like, you know, if you prefer Half-Life Deathmatch to Opposing Force Deathmatch, that's fine. But I feel a lot of the times it just, this has an unfair advantage because it has more weapons and, like, mechanics to work with, so... Go figure. I forgot to bring up this little walkway here, too. You can use this to get to the uh, gauze over here convert more covertly if you really wanted to. And, uh, yeah, let's play. Oh, and if anyone wondering, um, not only is the my playthrough of the Half-Life single player just not going to get uploaded. I had the footage, but I just didn't feel like editing after so long, so I just I got rid of it. Uh, I won't be doing a half uh, posing for single player either. Sorry if you are like you know ever wanting to see the rest of my Half Life playthrough or see this one played. Just uh, not something I'm interested in anymore. Sorry. Also, as you'll see here, the only downside of it increasing the uh, text size um, um, is that this, uh, this list here, as you see, is a little bit fucked. Oh well, not much we could do about that. Always so satisfying getting that up close double barrel. Never gets old. Also, I know this is, uh, like, you know, I'm, I'd be genuinely curious to have a poll. What walking sound do you prefer? The original Half Life one or the one that they, uh, edited into, they added into Opposing Force? You know what I mean. Like, listen. Oh, I guess you can't, but you know what I mean. That default kind of, like, you know, more Buddhist sounding walk, like, sound effect that they added in. I'd like to see what, like, you know, the universal opinion is. If it's a mixed opinion sort of thing, or if, like, you know, some people are strongly against the opposing force version, or, like, what? I know, most pointless thing ever, but, you know, my whole existence is pointless, so let's be real here. I know it's theoretically a better weapon, but I just never found the Magnum as satisfying to use the revolver. It's just a principal aesthetic sort of thing, I suppose. I mean, it actually functionally is a better weapon. Let's get real. 
But, you know, there's always it's something about a Magnum or a revolver or whatever. It's just always infinitely more endearing to me, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how the hell that shotgun blast is, like, so powerful, but whatever. As you can see, my skills are top-notch. Look at this guy, just using the sniper like he's the, the, any nobody's business. What is that nonsense? Fucking, like, aimbot there. Oh yeah, there's a spore launcher down here. I think I forgot. Oh yeah, that's why I couldn't figure out how this tu what this tunnel connected to. I completely forgot. Oh well. Nice grenade right in the face there. Oh, that's something that puts hair on your chest. Oh, you fucking asshole! That person, one, whoever was with the explosive there just stole my kill. Unreal. Well, I'm gurging the pain anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. One shot, one kill. 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 kill. Alright, perfect. Love the design of this thing, frankly. Um, boot camp at opposing force. It's a riot.